stress hormones are released during good times and bad times, but no matter when they're released, they strengthen the memories of the events that cause them to be released. In Irvine, California, neuroscientist Jim McGaw understands cases like Andy's only too well. He's been investigating the link between stress and memory for almost half a century. With his co-researcher Larry Cahill, they've been exposing people to stressful images and looking inside their brains as their memories are formed. They've discovered that what's important for memory is not just how we learn something, but what we do after we've learned it. What we know is that there's a window of opportunity after you've learned something, during which we can enhance memory storage by activating the stress hormone system in the subject. Cahill is showing a subject a series of images without telling her she'll later have her memory tested. I'm just gonna drape this blanket over you. Okay, so please pull up your sleeve. Then yes. she's given a sudden shock with ice cold water. Okay. The idea okay. is to okay. raise her stress okay. levels by forcing her body okay. to release and adrenaline. Go. Yes. <laughs> it's really, really cold. For some 45 minutes after we've learned something, a release of stress hormones like this will boost the process by which lasting memories are laid down. Yeah. Right, just keep it in as long as you can. A week later, her memory is shown to be stronger. I remember the cockroaches. The cockroaches? And do you remember how many there were? I think there were four. A little stress after watching the slides has frozen key details into her memory. The stress hormones that resulted from sticking her arm in ice water after she saw the slides actually enhanced her memory for the slides that she saw. Willem Simcock is a young jazz musician. As a performer, he has to remember hundreds of complex pieces perfectly every time. But like many of us, he struggles with his memory. Every time he learns a new piece, he puts more pressure on it. With a major performance in just three days, Willem's memory could make or break his career. How far will he go in pursuit of his art? No. Oh. Oh, no. The stress of this cold shower creates a rush of adrenaline. It should freeze what Willem's just learned into his long-term memory. But how will he cope with the rest of his repertoire? And can he boost his recall in time for his biggest performance yet? Gwillem has two days left before he's due to perform live with his quartet, but he's still struggling to remember the key piece. So what's going on inside his brain? In trying to remember something new, Gwillem is literally rearranging his brain cells. When he forms a new memory, he creates a new pathway between these brain cells, one that's entirely unique to that memory. It's thought that the bonds across the tiny gaps between his brain cells is what determines the strength of Gwillem's memories. after he's learned something, there's one thing Willem can do that's more important than any other in helping to strengthen these bonds. Get some sleep. Yeah, I often find if I've been playing something over and over again, that um, if I've had a good night's sleep, then coming back to it the next day and it really sorts it out. 